Hey guys, Daniel from Kura Marine Aquatics here, and today we're off to the airport for another Cairns Marine delivery. It's a bit cold today. I am taking James up, my Hello. manager, and yeah, let's go. I'll check back in when we get to the airport. Radio guys, we just arrived at the airport, so we're just going inside to pick them up. Radio guys, we're all loaded, so let's head back to the shop and have a look. Radio guys, we just got back in store. We've got boxes there, a couple more boxes there. So let's have a look at what's inside. Box number one. Ooh, there's some other, a few cool things coming today. Yeah. A little shark, a little epaulet shark. One of these is uh, going to be called Dennis. We've got two of them in. We're hoping they're a pair because they do breed in captivity and we'd like to breed them. A little, we'll cut that one, Dennis. We'll cut this one. Don't know. They're too hard to sex at this age. But they're very, very cute. Very, very cute. They were actually bred in captivity at Cairns Marine. Have big elegance. Big, big, big frog spawn. We decided to get more big curls. In. Oh, you've even got a little. Sponge. We decided to get more big corals in. They just seem to sell better. Little corals, like he's doing a special at the moment. $20 each for all the little uh, hammers. A little leather of sorts. And the last of this box is a big hammer. Alright guys, let's move on to box number two and see what's in there. What's the Before we do the next box, these are little sharks, little babies. And I think we're going to come up with a competition to name the second one. But that will be announced a little bit later. Right here guys, I'll get them guys trip back and into a nice clean tank with lots of oxygen. Box. And we'll move on to the next box. Number two. Oh yeah, look at this dude. Oh, James is going to help me flip this bag around so we can show you what's inside. There's a big porcupine puffer in there. <coughs> oh, he does not. Look at him. There we go. He actually looks really happy. Very, very cute. And he'll go off into the tank. We're also considering keeping this guy and putting him in our predator tank as well. We go back around here. We have a ah, scopus tang. We have a ah, harlequin rash. Sorry, harlequin tuskfish. Well, what is in here? We have a now James wants to turn his bag upside down again to show you. Big fox face. Nice big healthy fox face. Nice. Oh that was it. There was just a lot of big fish in that box. Right here, let's move on to box number three. Box. All the fish are over here, and corals are acclimating, or being sitting here ready to take over the tanks to acclimate. All looking nice and happy. That puffer looks nice and happy. Nice and happy and hungry. We have coral bandage shrimp. We have a little rick. No, another coral banded shrimp. 
pass them off to James. Another little rig, oh, there's a nice little orange center. Nice little Lobo of sorts. Some trackies. Mm, that will be a mushroom piece, but some mushrooms have fallen off. So we'll probably put them in our main display so they can grab hold of something before we harvest them back out again. Ah, uh, we have oh, cowrie snails, I'm pretty sure they're called. This one's an egg one. I could get the name wrong. And I will tell you in the next video when I put this down before in between boxes on what exactly it is. But so cool. Little pajama cardinal. Hmm. Little sea slug of some sort. That one's cool. He's really spiky. Nastaris. Lord zombie snails. Little meat eater snails. Pass up James. A little brittle star. Or big brittle star. Medium sized brittle star, we'll call it. Red star. This pack's got a little bit squashed. Pass it off to James. Look underneath now. Throw this over to the side. Oh wow, I didn't know how this was going to look, this is a pink tip Heliofungia, wow, this is similar to, if I take you over to our display tank, a little Nemo Reef, that guy there, owns up big, this guy's a pink tip version, that's wow, thinking about putting one of them in display after seeing that, pass that off. Big torch. Oh, sorry, no, not big torch. What am I saying? Big sea and enemy. Blasto. Big piece of war coral. Was he war coral? Well, this one popped, but it is a type of Fabia of some sort. My man Tiger Eyes. Hopefully, we can bring it back. It did, bag did pop. Big cup coral. One of your easier hard corals to grow. Now, pin it. Another big cup coral, this one being a purple type. How are they? Big sea enemy. Another big snail. Just a normal heliofungia. The last one in this box is another big bubble tip. Alright guys, two more boxes to go. Let's Box, keep having number three.
let's have a look. We have a. Uh, Can you big bit of Monty? Absolutely. <coughs> Feather, right? Another fabric. Small uh, ooh, epithelia of some sort. Can't tell on that bag. Nice large leather. Big hammer. Big. Frog spawn, uh, frog spawn. And another big hammer, big wall hammer. Alright, right, so there's still one more in here. I'll stop as a customer. Another there. Yeah. Alright, let's move on to the last box. Last box, box number five. All these heat packs are always nice and, nice and warm. We yeah. have, mm. this is James's, I had to have a small one in here, but this is a teardrop tank, that's going home to James's tank, mm. oh, we're going to do that one first, because that one is struggling, so James will do that one quickly. Little Valentini puffer. Pajama Cardinal. Oh no, I don't know what's happened to all these bigger tangs. Um, unfortunately, part and parcel of getting fish sometimes. Valentini puffer. Little pajama cardinal. Little pajama cardinal. The last two fish, what are they? That's Al Whitey Tang. And another Hogan Tusk. Well, guys, that's it for the unboxing today. Hope you enjoyed. If you see anything you like, let us know. This weekend, twenty percent off saltwater corals and fish. Let us know. That it also includes pre-orders. So, yeah, look out for that. So, thanks, guys. I'll catch you later. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow us on Instagram. Cheers.